In a time after the passing away of Musa alayhi salam, this is a very powerful account of a story from the times of Bani Israel. And inside the story, there are three characters. The first character is a person known as Talut. At this time, Talut is a mere foot soldier in the army of Bani Israel that are trying their best to hold back an army of giants. Headed up by another person who's the second character of the story, his name is Jalut. Jalut was a giant. Jalut, they said, was so strong and so tough, he himself could take on an army. What happened is that Bani Israel prospered for many years after Musa alayhi salam. But then they began to go far away from Allah. They began to sin and they lost their connection with their book. And then an army arose, headed up by Jalut, this giant infamous warrior. And he began campaign against Bani Israel until Bani Israel came to their prophet. They had a prophet amongst them and they said, select for us a king, a general and would take them to victory. But what is amazing is that their prophet told them who to choose. The prophet said to them, Truly, Allah has selected for you this man, Palut, to be your king. And you know what they said in response? How can he be our king when he's got no money? Now, Palut was the most qualified for the job, that he was increased and expanded in knowledge and in his body. He was a genius when it came to warfare. Palut, he was the tallest man in Bani Israel. Al-Qurtubi said that the tallest man in Bani Israel would only come up to the shoulders of Palut. So he had it. He had the right qualifications. Why did Bani Israel say to their prophet, he can't be our king. He's got no money. They didn't worry about the substance. They were all about the glitz and the glamour. And then they said, show us a sign. You want more proof. You want another miracle. Out of Allah's mercy, He showed them a miracle. You see, during these wars, they lost a lot of land. A lot of power was conceded to Jalut and his army. And on one such occasion, they lost the tabut. You know what the tabut is? It was a huge treasure chest. Inside of it, they had the relics of Musa salam and Harun. And what happened? It got captured. And so what happened is that this tabut, this chest, it was in the possession of Jalut. Wherever they would place it, a calamity would strike. They put it there, a plague is happening over there. They move it to another location, an earthquake. And so what did they say? Man, this chest is cursed. Get this out of here. They put it on the back of a bull on a cart. And they said, this bull, tell it to leave our land. Don't even put a driver on it. And so this bull, drove that cart with the tabut all the way back to the very door of Palut. Subhanallah. Angels were carrying that chest. It was a miracle. Everyone saw a miracle. And so they accepted Palut to be their king. And so Palut now had a mission on his hands. He had to put together an army, an army of these type of people who would go and face 
a giant army. Allah says, when Falut and his armies, see, he's already showing his quality as a leader. They're out there in the middle of nowhere. At that moment, what does he say? He said, listen up. Allah is going to try you and test you with a river. He says, whoever drinks from it is not from me. You drink that water, go back home. Whoever doesn't consume of it, then he's from my army. Except the one who takes a couplet of water like this and drinks it. Most of the army of 80,000 did end up drinking from the river. What is he left with? 310 odd soldiers. Now, those few that didn't drink, they passed the test for sure, but they didn't become perfect soldiers. These 300 warriors, along with their king, they crossed the Jordan River, according to some. When they cross, they look at the horizon, what do they see? Some humongous army. They see the cavalry kicking up dust into a cloud that emerges in the sky. And then they see Jalut. And you know why he stood out? Because he wore some very sophisticated armor. They said his armor covered his whole body, except for a slit for his eyes. They lost their nerve. They said, we've got no ability to defeat these guys today. Then what happens is beautiful. The Quran tells us that there were some that were convinced that they were going to a meeting with Allah. And when they heard those other guys lose their nerve, they said, how many? Has there been a tiny group that have managed to overcome a group of many by the permission of Allah subhanAllah and Allah is with the steadfast now they're going to war what happens a young man turns up at the scene Dawood and so tiny and he hears Balut offer a reward. Balut says, whoever kills Jalut, I'll allow him to marry my daughter and I'll give him some of my kingdom. Dawood thinks for a moment and puts up his hand. Balut and everybody else just laughed. Balut eventually said, okay, show me your skills. What you got? He said, all I've got is this a slingshot. But this slingshot, he goes, I can knock the teeth off a wolf if it looks at my sheep a bit funny. You managed to kill anything more than that? He says, I managed to kill a lion once. He goes, okay, take my horse and take my weapons. Go ahead. Dawood was a believer. He says, I don't want any of this. I want to use what Allah has given me and this will suffice me. And so he moves in and around the army, takes his position, places a tiny rock in his slingshot, takes his mark and lets it fly. It hits Jalut right between the eyes and he falls down dead. Now, when his army see their leader has dropped, they lose all morale. And then Allah says, we gave Dawood kingship. We made him a king. And we gave him hikmah, meaning we made him into a prophet. Subhanallah. The story began where the Muslims, the believers, were on the brink of collapse and about to be wiped out. But the story ends with the believers attaining an epic victory. What happened in the middle? Is that they listened to their prophet. 
followed orders from their leaders and victory was given to them. You will be saved, you will be honored and you will be given this dunya as well as the akhirah.